Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Leo Chen of Love Taste Style. Back again with another sneakers and style video. This Jordan 1 Sand Red I got off the Go app a few months ago. I finally got around to doing this sneakers and style video for you guys. I know you guys love all the Jordan 1 style videos especially. So here's another pair for you guys. So this pair here officially came out as a woman's sneaker. I got this in a woman's size 12, which is a men's 10 and a half. The front here of the red tumble leather material kind of reminds me of like the Chicago ones, the original pair in the front. And then of course in the toe box, you have this tumble leather in white. Going up on the tongue here is one of the special features on these Jordan 1 satin red here. You have the tongue in this satin material in red. And then the satin material continues around the lining and also the inside of the sneaker. And right away, just by feel, it feels like a very high class, high fashion, luxurious pair of sneakers. Going towards the back, another main feature on the sneaker is the snakeskin leather material. So they have this snakeskin leather material in black on the back panel, the Nike swoosh, and also up on the top around the angle. And they also have the classic Air Jordan wing logo embossed into the leather. So right away, the main features on the Jordan 1 satin red right here is really luxurious, really like high class. I think it takes the Jordan 1 to the next level. And I'm actually surprised it actually retails for 170. With the satin material and the leather, I kind of was thinking this would be a little bit more expensive, kind of like the Animal Instant Jordan 3s when they use the mixed leather materials. I would have easily paid 250 for this at retail. And then going to the bottom, you have a white midsole and finishing off with the black on the bottom. It comes with three pairs of laces. It comes with the black laces on them already and also comes with white and red. I'm going to lace them white on one pair and black on one pair so you can see which one you might like more. If I was to design my own Jordan 1 sneaker, it actually might look pretty close to this. Using a mix of the high luxurious materials like the snakeskin and the sand material and yet staying true to the Chicago colors, paying homage to the original, this is a much elevated version of the Jordan 1. So that's a quick review on the Jordan 1 satin red here. Now let's get into some menswear inspired outfits to style these. Let's go. Outfit number one, I'm going with the black leather jacket. This black leather jacket here is from Express and this is a size large. New to the channel, I love leather jacket to match with everything. It's a great city style. You can dress up or down. This one here is a great budget option for you guys to work your way up to get a $500, $1,000 high quality one. Now, of course, I gotta go with the leather jacket to match with the snakeskin leather material on the sneaker here. For such a sharp pattern material, the leather jacket is a no-brainer to match with that. To layer this look, I'm going with a red flannel shirt. So the flannel is definitely a classic during the fall and winter season. This pattern, this material is really great during the colder months. And it's interesting, it brings in some nice menswear inspired pattern, like the plaid here. This kind of plaid shirt you can get from like any brand, from H&M to Express, they all make similar ones. And of course, the red color matches perfectly with the sneaker. To finish off this look, I'm going with a pair of black jeans. These are also from Express, and I love these jeans. Those are really comfortable. I got this in a size 3230 and goes really well with the sneakers here. Basically all black look, but with the pop of red in the flannel shirt. Outfit number two, we have the top coat. This maroon top coat here, I got in a size 40 regular. I love the maroon color on this top coat. It's one of my favorite pieces to wear during the fall and winter season because you don't see this color that often and there's a really nice pop of color in your outfit really stands out from the crowd, but you can also go with a black top coat to match with the black color on the sneaker as well. For this layering look, I'm going with my Levitate hoodie from my Levitate collection. You can go get your own in the link below. This will help out my channel, help out my work a lot. So the black hoodie here, we have the Levitate logo embroider, a nice classy, subtle detail on the hoodie that you can see with the coat on. And I love this layering black hoodie with a top coat, casual but still really sharp. And then for the bottom, I'm going with a pair of black joggers. The joggers also from Express, I got these in a size medium. I love a good pair of fitted pair of joggers. You know, it's comfortable like a pair of sweatpants, but it's not sloppy and too oversized. 
I like that the jogger fit it around the angle so it goes really well with the Jordan 1 and really let the sneaker pop on the bottom on its own. All right, outfit number three, I'm going with a track jacket. This red track jacket here I got from Valentino and this is a size 42. I actually have a lot of red jackets in my closet here, but I specifically picked out this Valentino track jacket because it is a high luxury brand and I wanted to match this with the sand material. I think it just goes really well with this luxurious look. The track jacket is a really casual piece and I love the red and white details all throughout the jacket here. It's basically like a pinstripe kind of pattern going on. So obviously the red and the white goes really well with the red and the white on the sneaker as well, especially if you go with the white laces, I think it matches with the jacket even more. This is the kind of outfit you see a lot of celebrities, a lot of athletes wear. They love mixing high-low, mixing the high fashion, luxury designer brands with a pair of sneakers like this. This is an easy way to do the high-low styling, mixing high fashion brand with a pair of sneakers. For the bottom, I'm going with a pair of gray jeans, kind of mix it up a little bit. I did black pants for the other two outfits. So for this one, go with the gray jeans. It's still a nice neutral color and let the shoes pop on the bottom. The gray jeans I got is also from Express and these are size 32, 30 and these fit really well. Again, you want a pair of jeans that fit your body well and tapered at the bottom. So it's not like super sloppy and like overflowing on the sneaker, letting the sneaker pop on his own at the bottom. All right guys, back again with another special extra segment here with my special guest, Alicia, my girlfriend here. Hi. And uh, <laughs> you know, I just wanted to see her take and what she rates these sneakers. So this one here is the Jordan 1 Satin Snake Skin Special Edition. Let me know what you think of them. Okay, ready? Go ahead. Okay, three, two, one. I like it. Kind of like a mix of different materials Nine. here. Nine out of 10? Yeah. Yeah, it's actually really it's nice. It's actually technically uh, a woman's sneaker, <gasps> but of course I got it in my size. <laughs> uh, so what, what, what do you like about it? Um, I like the satin tongue. I think that's super chic. Yeah. Um, and the snake skin is like tough yet thin. So you actually like this a lot. I like this a lot. Wow. Yeah. Should I get you a pair? I actually wish it was a little more black. Like this is a bit too much red for me personally. Well, yeah. But like I like it a lot. Well, if you lace it up, it'll be black. That's true. More black. Okay, you can get one for me. So you you like these? Yeah. You like the different mix of materials? Yeah. And you give it? Like this is so tough. A nine. Nine out of ten. Yeah. That's really high, That's high for Alicia. <laughs> she does not like most of my sneakers. No, I don't. All right, so there you have it, guys. Another sneakers and style video with the Jordan One satin red here. Let me know in the comments which one of these outfits is your favorite. Also, what are your thoughts on the Jordan 1? What do you think about the sand material? Should they have made these a men's sneaker instead of women so everybody can get a pair? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Thank you guys for watching.